Yeah. Welcome back to HLN as we look at the uh, eternal flame and think of John F. Kennedy, who was assassinated 50 years ago today. I just spoke to a caller, Ellen, who met him the day before. She says she still can't believe that he is gone. Uh, Jeff Gold with us, also Vinny. Uh, Jeff, you were saying you were in grade school at the time and sent home when they heard news? That's right. We, we were taken out. We all, I mean, the entire elementary school taken outside. Uh, we saluted a, a flag, which was at half mast, and then we all went home and, uh, and watched it as if this was the beginning of reality TV, I guess, looking back on it. Mm -hmm. uh, as the caller said, you know, we watched it in real time, what drama there was. You know, that funeral was a recreation of uh, Lincoln's funeral procession uh, down the street. Uh, the scenes that were indelibly uh, etched on our minds of little John John saluting. I mean, these kinds yeah. of things uh, stay with you forever. And also, Vinny, seeing Oswald shot. I mean, I mean yeah. the way it played out and everything connected to it, and you see the images of him driving by in that convertible car with Jack. And it's a moment where the whole nation, and the closest thing in, in my lifetime, obviously, would be 9 11, where the whole nation is fixated on one thing and one thing only at one time. You remember where you are, but then. You're, you're, you're wondering about what's going to happen next. And in, in this case, something did happen next. Mm -hmm. And how shocking that is. And everyone, again, is sharing that experience mm -hmm. and trying to make sense of all of it. And I think that's the, the part uh, I think impacts people. And, and the people we're talking to today on the phone, obviously, were, were young men. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you remember those things. You remember that time. You and the emotions come do. back as well. Bonnie's on the phone from Texas. And, Bonnie, you had just had a baby? You were in the hospital when you heard? No, I'm from Mesa, uh, Arizona. Sorry about that. Arizona. Where, yeah. where were you when you heard the news? Well, I was in high school. I was a freshman in high school in Mendota, Illinois, mm -hmm. and our superintendent, <clears throat> J.W. Price, called an assembly for the entire school, and he announced the tragic news, and mm -hmm. he dismissed school. When I got home, the UPS man was sitting in a chair in our living room. He was delivering an Avon order to my mother, and when he heard the news he collapsed in a chair wow. and he just stayed there stunned until he regained his composure and then he got up without saying a word and left how were you feeling when you heard the news absolutely devastated my family adored president kennedy mm -hmm. and we were so happy when he was elected it was like the end of an era for us mm -hmm. Bonnie, thank you so much for sharing your story. Apologize about that. You're in Arizona, not Texas. And Jeff, do you think it's that um, back in that time, it appeared that everybody loved John F. Kennedy, Democrat, Republican. There was just some sort of ideal uh, about JFK and his family, as you said, as Vinny said, young wife, young children. Well, looking back on it is one thing. I don't think the Republicans liked him that much. It was uh, the close. It was the closest election at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, I can remember even as a as a you know young child the uh, the election. It stirred so much emotion because it was so close. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of conspiracy theories have to do with that later on. But yeah. I'll tell you what. In retrospect, because of his age, we all remembered him and all fondly. Very well said. All right, Vinny, Jeff, thanks so much. And thanks to the callers who were calling in and sharing their stories and really the overall gist.